Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Tollwalker. ABCD is a quadrilateral. Point O is alongside AD and is the center of a semicircle that is tangent to sides AB, BC, and CD. If AB is equal to 9, CD is equal to 16, and AO is equal to OD, what is the length of AD? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we'll use the principle of equal tangents to a circle. Suppose P is a circle and A is a point exterior to the circle. If AB and AC are exterior tangents, we will show that AB is equal to AC. To do this, construct radii PB and PC. From here, we will construct two congruent right triangles. It will then be easy to show that the length of AB is equal to the length of AC. Thus, AB is equal to AC. Now let's solve the problem. Suppose E is the point of tangency along AB. Then the radius OE will be perpendicular to AB, and suppose it has a length equal to R. Let F be the point of tangency along CD. The radius OF will be perpendicular to CD, and it will have the same length equal to the radius of the semicircle. Since AO is equal to OD, triangle AEO is congruent to triangle DFO. Thus, if AE has a length equal to X, DF will have a length equal to the same value of X. We can now set up a plan of attack to solve the problem. We want to calculate the value of R squared plus X squared. If we do that, we will get the value of AO squared, and we will also get the value of OD squared. Then, AD is equal to AO plus OD. So let's go and calculate the value of R squared plus X squared. It will take many steps. To get started, recall that AB has a length equal to 9. Thus, EB will have a length equal to 9 minus X. Then recall that CD has a length equal to 16, so CF will have a length equal to 16 minus X. We will then use the principle of equal tangents. Suppose G is the point of tangency along BC. Then we will have that BE is equal to BG. So BG is equal to 9 minus X. We will also have that CF is equal to CG. So CG is equal to 16 minus X. From here, we will construct OG, which is a radius of the semicircle. We will then construct OB, and we will also construct OC. We now have one pair of right triangles that are congruent. We then have another pair of right triangles that are congruent, and we have a third pair of right triangles that are congruent to each other. Now let's just focus on the quadrilateral and some of the angles. Let's suppose that AOE has a value equal to theta. The corresponding angle in the other blue triangle will also be equal to theta. In the two purple triangles, let's suppose each of these angles is equal to alpha, and then in the two green triangles, let's suppose each of these angles is equal to beta. Since AD is a straight line, we will have 2 theta plus 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to 180 degrees. If we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we get theta plus alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degrees. In other words, alpha plus beta and theta are complementary. So we focus on this right triangle where one angle is equal to theta, another angle is a right angle, the remaining angle must be equal to alpha plus beta. We then have r over x is equal to the tangent of the quantity alpha plus beta. We can use the tangent sum formula to get the following equation. From here, we'll look at this purple triangle to get the value of tangent of alpha. It'll be equal to 9 minus x all over r. In the green triangle, we can get the tangent of beta is equal to 16 minus x all over r. 
We thus focus on these equations and will simplify them. We'll substitute in for tangent of alpha and tangent of beta. We then simplify this fraction. We'll multiply the numerator and denominator by r squared, and then we'll continue to simplify. We simplify the numerator, then we can cancel out the r terms on both sides of this equation. From here, we will cross multiply, then we will continue to simplify. The 25x terms cancel out, and we group the x squared terms, so we get r squared plus x squared is equal to 144, which is equal to 12 squared. We thus have solved for the value of r squared plus x squared, and that's exactly equal to ao squared and exactly equal to od squared. Thus, ao is equal to od is equal to 12, and ad is equal to ao plus od, which is equal to 24. And that's our answer. Now you might be wondering if you could solve for the value of r or the value of x. The answer is no. The reason is this diagram actually corresponds to a family of different quadrilaterals, as I will show you in the following animations. While we cannot solve for the value of r or x, we can see that in all of these quadrilaterals, we have the same constant distance of AD. And I think that's quite fascinating. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.